Event one is an aerial ladder climb. Candidates will climb a 105 foot aerial ladder, which is placed at a 75 degree climbing angle. The candidate will ascend the ladder to the top where they will ring a bell. Once the bell is rung, the candidate will descend the ladder. Your time will start when the proctor says go and stop when the candidate reaches the turntable with both feet. This event will be completed wearing a turnout coat, helmet, gloves, and will be secured with a class three harness on belay. Time limit is four minutes. Part two of the physical ability test begins with event two, charged hose deployment. Candidate will advance charged sections of inch and three quarter hose with nozzle 150 feet in length. A painted line on the ground will identify the start line and completion line. The running clock will start once the candidate crosses the start line. This event will be completed wearing a turnout coat, helmet, and gloves. The candidate will begin by grasping the rescue mannequin in a manner that simulates removal of a victim or an injured firefighter. You may not use the DRD. You must drag the mannequin through two cones at the start completion line, 57 feet down to the single cone. You will then turn 180 degrees around the single cone and back 57 feet through the completion line. The rescue mannequin must completely pass the start completion line. The candidate will commence this evolution by donning an SCBA without mask. The candidate will begin at the start completion line and obtain a 50 foot section of two and a half inch hose. The candidate will carry this hose up the interior stairwell of the tower and proceed to the third floor. They will drop off this section of hose on the identified X on the third floor and continue up the interior stairwell to the fourth floor exterior landing. Here you will raise a 50 foot section of rolled two and a half inch hose using the hand over hand method and place the hose on the fourth floor landing. The candidate will then re-enter the tower and descend the interior stairwell to the bottom floor and out past the start finish line. With both feet past the start finish line, they will re-enter the tower to the third floor and retrieve the hose that was dropped off on the X. Once this hose is retrieved, the candidate will descend the tower with the hose, place the hose back in its original location across the line, and continue across the start completion line. There are five weighted buckets placed 25 feet apart. The candidate will start at the start completion line and retrieve all five buckets, one bucket at a time, in any order you see fit. Each bucket must be placed on the tailgate near the start completion line. Once all five buckets have been retrieved and are on the tailgate, they will be replaced back inside of the painted circles on the ground. No part of the bucket may touch the painted circle. You may place the buckets back in any order, one bucket at a time. The running clock will stop once the candidate replaces all five buckets and crosses the completion line. 